Today I'm going to be ranking the best and worst 1440p graphics cards in 2025 with the latest pricing and availability. If you have a 1440p monitor or you want to buy one, these graphics cards might be the best ones for you, but some of them are actually really really bad deals. You will find the best graphics card deals down below in the video description with the latest pricing and availability. My name is Valentino, that being said, let's get started. Now before starting, I want to say that this tier list is going to be based on overall performance, so price to performance, feature set and VRAM. Of course the main thing is going to be price to performance, but everything else matters as well. So first let's start with the cheapest one which is the RX 7700 XT from AMD. This graphics card is actually a pretty good graphics card and it's also the cheapest one that you can get in my opinion for 1440p resolution gaming. It has 12 gigs of VRAM and the level of performance is actually pretty decent. You can play most games on high to ultra settings at 1440p without any issues and for those two reasons, being the cheapest one and also having a very decent level of gaming performance, is going on on the good tier. In my opinion, the next one on the list, which is the RX 7800 XT, is a better deal at the moment. Yes, it's a bit more expensive at 90 USD more, but it is about 22% faster in terms of gaming performance. And on top of that, you get 16 gigs of VRAM, which is going to be better for future games. So you get more VRAM, 22 faster performance for a 17% pricing increase. For that reason, it's also going into my good tier, but it's going to be one step above the 7700 XT. Or if you have more money, I would strongly recommend you going with the 7900 XT, which at the moment I could find one of them for 650 bucks. In my opinion, this is actually a very decent price for a 7900 XT. And compared to other graphics cards in the market right now, considering the stock pricing and everything that's going on right now, including the tariffs, the 7900 XT has a really good price. So this is going to be my first graphics card on the best you can get tier because in terms of the level of gaming performance, it's actually very high end when it comes to 1440p resolution gaming. I mean, you can run games at 120 plus FPS on average high to ultra settings and I'm talking about high demanding titles. So you will have no issues when it comes to this graphics card at 1440p in any type of game. Compared to other graphics cards in the market, this one offers a much better price performance. Now the RTX 5070, which is the next one on the list, is going for 700 USD and I don't like that especially considering that the 5070 has 12 gigs of VRAM. Yes, it's a very very good 1440p graphics card in terms of pure performance but at this price point I wouldn't go for it especially if the 7900 XT is being sold for 650. Now maybe when you're watching this video prices are different and the RTX 5070 like two days ago was 550 bucks and at that price point I would have said yes it's actually a pretty sweet deal because it's going for its MSRP but as of right now for 699 I wouldn't recommend you buying it but if you see it at its MSRP of 549 and no other graphics cards are selling at its MSRP then it would have been a good deal. For that reason it's going into my great GPU bad deal tier. Then we have the RTX 5070 Ti. Now I expect the pricing of this graphics card to go up. It was coming back down but then the tariffs situation happened so for that reason I expect it to go back up but as of right now you can find one for A99 and at this price point it is a really good deal compared to other graphics cards in the market. Now again this is not a great price especially because the MSRP for this graphics card is 750 bucks but again if we compare it right now to other graphics cards and you want to buy a graphics card right now because you do not want to wait and I completely understand that especially considering that we don't know when prices are going to go back to normal well the 5070 is going to be the best you can get as well. I'm going to put it here because it's one of the newest graphics cards in the market. The level of gaming performance at 1440p is top tier. In my opinion, it's actually the best one for 1440p in terms of price to performance because it's definitely not the most expensive one out there, even though it's expensive, but it's also going to give you plenty of gaming performance at 1440p, 16 gigs of VRAM, and on top of that, you get DLSS 4, and you also get a really good level of ray tracing performance. So in terms of feature set and performance, it's top tier, and in terms of pricing, it's not so great, but again, compared to other graphics cards in the market, it's actually a very good value option at the moment. 
it. Then we have one of the newest graphics cards from AMD in the RX 9070. This graphics card is actually pretty decent and it's also very fast for 1440p resolution gaming, high to ultra settings in any type of game. In fact, it's very similar in terms of performance compared to the RX 7900 XT, but you get a better feature set because the level of ray tracing performance is much more improved in the new generation. So overall, you get a better graphics card than the 7900 XT, but the price is way too high. I mean, if you can get the 5070 Ti for A99, there's no reason why you should go with this graphics card for A170 bucks. If it's quite cheaper, by all means, this might be a good option, but for 870 bucks, I don't see why anyone would buy this graphics card instead of the RTX 5070 Ti. And for that reason, it's going into my great graphics card, bad deal tier, just like the RTX 5070. Now, the RX 7900 XTX is the best previous generation's AMD graphics card, and it's still one of the fastest GPUs in the entire market. It has basically the same level of gaming performance as the RTX 5070 Ti, but it's worse when it comes to ray tracing performance and it has a worse upscaling technology. Now, at the moment, this one is going for a thousand USD minimum, and for that reason, this graphics card is not great in terms of price or performance. Again, you can get the 5070 Ti for around 900 USD or for around the same price as the 7900 XDX, and I do think that the 5070 Ti is a much better overall graphics card, mainly because of its feature set with better ray tracing performance and DLSS as your upscaling technology. Technology. One thing that the 7900 XTX has over the 5070 Ti is that it has more VRAM. So unless you're using more than 16 gigs of VRAM in your favorite programs or your favorite games, I wouldn't recommend you the 7900 XTX over the 5070 Ti, especially when it's 100 USD more expensive. That's why it's also going into my great GPU bad deal tier. Now, one thing that I want to change right now is the RTX 5070. I think that the RTX 5070 is a decent graphics card. It's not a great graphics card because it has 12 gigs of VRAM. Now, there's nothing wrong with 12 gigs of VRAM at 1440p, but if you're spending 700 USD or 549 even at its MSRP, I would expect to have at least 16 gigs of VRAM. So that's why I'm going to change it to decent GPU, bad deal graphics card. Then we have the newest and best graphics card from AMD which is the RX 9070 XT. This one is slightly slower than the RTX 5070 Ti from Nvidia, so it's very similar compared to the RX 7900 XTX, but it has a much better feature set because you get a more improved level of ray tracing performance. It's also better when it comes to content creation and productivity work applications compared to the 7900 XTX, but it's going for 1060 USD by the time of filming, so it doesn't make any sense to get this graphics card over the 5070 Ti. For me to recommend you this GPU instead of the 5070 Ti, it would have to be at least 100 to 200 dollars cheaper, and even then, it would depend on your exact situation. So, this graphics card being 260 bucks more expensive than the 5070 Ti doesn't make any sense, but it is the best graphics card from AMD. So, it is a great GPU, just a bad deal like the 7900 XDX and the RX 9070. Then we have the NVIDIA RTX 5080. Now, this graphics card can easily be considered a 4K GPU. So, at 4K, it's a different situation. This is the fastest graphics card in this entire list, but it's also the most expensive one. In my opinion, it's super expensive at almost 1400 USD for its cheapest model. And yes, sure, it's faster than the 5070 Ti, but it's not that much faster. So, I wouldn't recommend you spending around 500 USD more to get slightly better performance. At 4K, it might be a different situation. So unless you don't really care about money, I wouldn't recommend you buying this graphics card. I'm not gonna put it in the do not buy tier just because some people do not care about the money. And if that's you, if you just want faster performance, then yes, the 5080 will give you that faster performance. And that's why it's going into my great GPU bad deal tier. And last but not least, we have the RTX 4000 series GPUs. These I would not recommend you buying at all because they stopped production and the pricing is insane, super overpriced and the RTX 5000 series are cheaper so there's no reason to go with the 4000 series unless you are looking on the used market. But let me know what you think about this tier list and also remember that you will find the best graphics cards for 1440p down in the video description with the latest pricing and availability and you will also find my personal PC help in case you want me to help you out find the right graphics card or computer for your budget and needs. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.